They got me hot step a word around. Anyways, we're back with Scarefest at Alton Towers. So we'll just be getting these flies out of our face, firstly. We'll just be going through, running through all the mazes at Alton Towers and seeing what ones we potentially might want to do. Mm -hmm. Alton Towers is a little bit different to Thought Park. So we've literally just recorded our Thought Park one. So if you want to see that, that'll probably be like the video before the, with all the Fright Night mazes. Alton Towers is different because they break it down into family mazes and then Gary Scary mazes. Will we go through the family fun ones first? Yeah. The Alton Towers ones doesn't really give you as much of a description as the Thought Park ones either. And to note as well with Alton Towers, a lot of them are extras that need to be paid for. So. Yeah, you can get like a three ticket bundle that includes three of the mazes, but then there's others that cost an additional, additional on, to that. On top so of that, yeah. It can get pretty pricey. I don't think you can get them all individually, can you? You have to either buy the pack yeah, or you three. Have to, you have to buy the ticket for three or you do the one, the ones that are separate from the three individually. Yeah. So we'll go through the spooktacular family fun first. First one is Darkest Depths, which is Take a ghostly voyage where you, where you come face to face with legendary creatures of the deep located in Mutiny Bay, recommended for 8 plus. So tickets cost £5 per person and it says to book in advance. I don't know if we'll do this one. Mm, the, especially the, if it's going to be full of kids and stuff like that, it possibly could be one to skip. Mm -hmm. Next up is the Alton Towers dungeon, which I wouldn't really class as a scare fest thing, mm. but whatever. As Scarefest descends on the towers into the Alton Towers dungeon for a little less laughing and a lot more screaming. So it's located near the towers and recommended for 10 plus and tickets are 8.50 per person. We so did want to do the dungeon so I think we'll do this. Yeah, I mean the dungeons are open all year round. So if you are at Alton Towers on the off season of Halloween then obviously you still can I participate. Think, in I don't think it's part, I don't know if it's part of the theme park though because the theme park closes for winter. So I don't know if it maybe closes over winter with the theme park or if it is actually open because it would be indoors. Yeah. Still on the family topic, there's the Freaky Fun Zone. Join our Freaky Five Halloween characters in their colourful playground with amazing shows, meet and greets, photo ops and more. Patch's Halloween party is bigger and better than ever. Scalvin shares his spooky stories with you. Phil and Franklin teach you everything they've learned at ghoul school. And Gretel needs your help with her magical spells, which is included in your admission ticket and is located on the front lawns. Again, not for us, mm -hmm. not for families. Then at CBB's Land, they have the Monster Ball, which is the CBB's Land characters are excited for their very first Halloween party right here in CBB's Land. Dress up in your favourite costume and join them live at, in the Big Fun Showtime as they dance, play games and learn all about spooky things. So the CBB's Funsters host a variety of Halloween themed activities in Big Fun Showtime, sing spooky songs, learn crazy dance moves, play games and explore and help the Funsters get ready for the CBB's Monster Ball. Again, not for us. If you have family, yeah, yeah, not for us. I think we've seen these people the last time we were there. So the Alton ancestors, they kind of look like the grim, grim grinning ghost from yeah. the Haunted Mansion. The Alton ancestors have risen from the grave once more and returned to their old stomping grounds. They can be found flash mobbing in Tower Street in the morning, then retiring to Gloomy Wood later on, plus appearing near the towers in the afternoon. Learn the dance moves and join in. Standing still is not an option. The next mazes that are up is terrifying scare mazes. Just ones um, that aren't family orientated. First of all, we've got the Alton Towers dungeon, which we've already kind of ran through. The next maze that we have at Alton Towers is called the Attic Terror of Towers. This is venture into the attic, terror of towers, but what will you discover there? Suitable for ages 15 plus. Tickets are £8 per person on top of your entry mm -hmm. to Alton Towers. The next one is called Project 42. Project 42 invites volunteers to enter the underground phallax. Phallax? Phallax. <laughs> compound and a bid to outwit what awaits them inside. Again, this is for ages 15 plus, included in our Scare Maze Combi ticket at 20 per person. It's one of the combo tickets where you get the three mazes in one. The next one is called Subspecies, the end game. A live action scare maze, and unlike our other mazes, creatures will touch you. 
<laughs> this is again suitable for 15 plus and included in the Scamay's combi ticket at 20 per person. The next one is called Altonville Mine Tours. Tour the depths of a recently reopened mine at the resort which holds a deep dark secret. Suitable again for 15 plus and included in the Scare Maze combi ticket at 20 per person. Rides in the dark. Nice Dare you me. take on our world class thrill ride in the dark. Will you hurdle towards six story high Wicker Man? And that's it for Alton Tells. So it feels like Fort Park actually has more. I would say they have more and it sounds more more thrill. More more like what we would be looking for. Yeah. More so do Towers. But we'll give Alton Towers a go. Hopefully we'll be able to get another recording of possibly when we're on site and show you a Hopefully. bit more of what the park actually looks like decorated in the season of Halloween. Yeah, because when we went last time, we could, because it was so cold, we didn't really have... We didn't have the cameras out. We, we didn't, didn't have the cameras with us. Like, I didn't even think we'd... <laughs> No, we, we didn't, didn't because we didn't. Did, we didn't bring the SLR in. I think we only used our phone, didn't we? Because yeah. we didn't have any. We didn't get a locker or anything. No, I think we might have to get a locker just so that we're not traipsing, especially Olsen Towers, going all the way back to the car. Yeah. As a pain in the butt. Next time you'll probably see us will be hopefully on site at either Olsen Towers or Thought Park. Or we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back by the time the videos go up. If you want to come join us, we will be Instagramming. We will have some live video footage. Yeah, we'll do some lives. Bye for now. Get all there.